standing at the top of our mats. I'm gonna face you guys. And we're just gonna start by taking our arms out to the sides, standing nice and tall, crown of the head, reaching towards the ceiling, and just circling those arms in some little circles. Going forward with the arms, stretching those fingertips nice in opposite directions, nice and wide for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four and three, we're gonna go the opposite direction. Two and one, opposite direction. Five, four, three, two, one. Sit down into your chair right behind you. Bring, okay, sit down into that chair right behind you, that invisible chair. Squat down, bring that booty back, bring the arms bent, and we're just gonna Straighten them out in front of us like we're serving a tray. Bend them back in. Straighten them out right in front of you like you're serving a tray. Bend them in. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Squeeze those abs. That core is nice and tight. Nice, slow, and controlled. For eight, squeezing every muscle in our upper back as we bring those arm back. our core, squeezing our glutes, weight is in the heels, for five, four, three, two, last one, take those feet nice and wide, bring those arms up to the ceiling, float them up, and then slow them back down as you squat down. Inhale, arms go up, legs go straight. Exhale, sit down into that squat, arms flow down. Keep breathing, pick up that pace as we squat down, arms come down, up, arms go up, flowing those arms, really stretching them out, making those long, beautiful lines for seven, six, Five, four, three, two, last one. Sit down into it, hands to prayer, pulse it out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come on back up, sit back into that chair again. Arms go up. And then take the arms to a bend position once you find that chair pose. And just push those triceps back so arms extend out long back behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale as you bend the arms. Exhale, straighten them out back behind you. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Weight is in the heels again. Core is nice and tight. Working all the muscles in our bodies. Focusing on the arms. Four, three, two, and one. And from here, we're gonna stand up, straighten out the legs, press the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sit back into that chair, tricep press. Exhale, stand up, press. Inhale here, exhale, fold forward. Come back, sit in that chair, tricep press. Standing press, fold forward. Chair, tricep press, arms go straight back. Stand up. Shoulder press, forward fold. Let's keep going here. Chair, 10. Forward fold. Nine. Let's get that heart rate up. Eight. Let's 
seven. into the tight spaces and as you breathe out you're letting that tightness go on an inhale we're going to take the right leg up and then just tap those toes back to the ground behind you inhale right leg up to the ceiling point those toes exhale slowly tap those toes down behind you right back up for ten nine eight seven, six, five, four, great work you guys, pointing those toes, three, two, and one, inhale, exhale, send that right foot through the hands, come on up to your first crescent lunge, arms go extended out above you, Toes are lifted off the back of the mat. Right leg is nice and bent. We're gonna interlace the fingers behind the head here. And just drop that back knee down. Touch the mat with the back knee and come right back up. Extend and straighten that back leg. Drop that knee all the way down. Extend and straighten. Holding the back of your neck. Encouraging that core to stay nice and tight. Seven. Feeling that burn through the quads. That nice stretch every time we dip through the hip flexor. Good work. For four, three, two, Last one here. Bring the hands down to the mat and take the right foot out to the outer edge of the mat. The hands are inside of the foot. And we're just here in lizard pose. Keeping that back leg lifted off of the mat. Back knee is lifted. Just holding here and breathing a little bit. Inhale, exhale, let go of the tight stuff. Let go of any of those stuck emotions. Drop that back knee down and then bring the hands up to prayer. We're just gonna twist our left elbow outside of our right knee. Hold here in this twist. Opening up the side body. Opening up those hips a little bit more. Good work, you guys. Okay, let's take those hands back down to the mat. Step that right foot back. Hold here in plank. Exhale through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, back to down dog. 
We're gonna lift that left leg nice and high off of the mat. Point those toes, drop those toes back down behind you, tap them on the mat, lift that leg right back up. Tapping those toes, feeling the work through the glute. For seven, six, lifting that leg as high as you can for five, four, nice and controlled, three, two, last one, lift that left leg nice and high and send that foot through in between the hands, come on up to your crescent lunge on the left side. Bring those hands behind the neck, interlace the fingers, and we're just gonna do those lunges where we drop our knee back down to the mat behind us. Keeping those elbows nice and open, nice and wide, opening up through that chest, dropping the knee down to the mat. Core is tight. Extending that leg behind you so you feel that stretch through the hip flexors. Four, three, two, on one. We're gonna come down with those hands. The left foot is gonna be outside of the left hand. We're just gonna hold here in our lizard pose again. Staying nice and tight through that core so you're not sagging those hips. Feeling a nice stretch in both hip flexors. One long line of the body. Trying to stretch out in every direction. Drop that back knee down and we're just gonna twist to the other side. So take those hands to prayer. Take the right elbow and hook it outside of the left knee. Twist and open up that body. Compressing our organs so that when we release, we allow new blood to flow into those areas, giving a beautiful life. For three, two, and one. Let's bring those hands back down. Step that left foot back. Hold your plank. Inhale, exhale through chaturanga. Inhale into up dog. Exhale back through downward dog. We're gonna come forward into our plank, hovering those knees, bending those knees and hovering them off like two inches off of the ground. Strong through those shoulders. We're just gonna lift our rib cage up. So. It's called a scapula push-up, and you're just gonna kind of rotate the chest so it's like you're hugging a barrel in this position, and then you're gonna release and let the chest drop. So you're really just feeling this right through your upper back. Dropping and lifting that chest while keeping the arms nice and straight. Shoulders are stacked over the wrists. Feeling a nice burn through those shoulders as we bring this chest up and down. 10. Nice and slow. 7. Really opening up through that chest and then pushing up and opening up through that upper back. Pushing in both directions. Three, two, last one. Extend those legs back out long into your plank. We're just gonna take each leg, so starting with the right leg, crossing it over to the left elbow, and then going right back into our plank. Picking up the left leg, bringing that right knee into, the left knee into the right elbow, crisscrossing. Nice and slow. Make sure the movement is super controlled. And each time your knee is kissing your elbow. 
opposite elbow. Keep going. Staying nice and lifted through that upper body. And we're bringing those legs in to meet it. And giving a nice twist every time we crisscross. For three. For two. Last one here. Drop down to your knees. Come on back. Take a child's pose. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Your shoulders should be burning. Arms should be burning. Good job, you guys. Come right back up. We're going to come onto our forearms. <laughs> knees are still bent. The left knee is stacked underneath the left hip. And then the right leg is going to extend out long behind you. We're just going to take those toes, point them, lift them up off the ground, and then bring that foot right back down, toes tap the ground behind you. Just lowering and lifting those right toes. Really turning on those glutes. Keeping that leg nice and straight. Lengthening out. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one here. Bend that knee in. We're gonna come back up to our plank. We're gonna start with a push up, and then we're gonna pick the right arm up, tap the left shoulder, bring that right hand back down to the mat, push up, left hand taps the right shoulder. Push up, alternating sides. Keeping that core nice and stable while you're here, not twisting, just only moving from the upper body when you tap that opposite shoulder. Really staying stable. As we lift and tap, lift and tap. Core is really turned on here. For five, four, three, two, last one. Drop down to those knees. We're gonna come on over, roll over onto your side. Lay on down on your side so that you're balanced onto one hip. You can use your arm, your left hand, as a stand for your head to just rest on. We're gonna start with some bicycles with the legs. So bend that top leg in towards your chest. Extend it long out in front of you. Sweep it down to the wall back behind you. And then bend it in again towards your chest. Extend, sweep, bend, extend. Just doing that nice circular bicycle motion with the top leg. Staying nice and balanced. You can use your top arm a little kickstand. Just circling that leg out, feeling the burn through that booty for five, four, three, two. On one, we're just going to reverse the circle. So bend that knee in, extend it long back behind you, sweep it up in front of you. So bending back and sweeping around. Really working on that mobility through your hips here. See how long you can keep that leg straight before you bend it in towards the chest. For five, four, three, 
two, last one. We're gonna keep that leg nice and lifted and just start with little circles, drawing a circle on the wall back behind you with your toes. Toes are nice and pointed. Good work. This glute is, should be really burning at this point. That's the only muscle we are really working on right now. We're really isolating here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Reverse that circle. Getting it from all angles here. Good work, you guys. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go with some big circles now. So just lift that leg up high, sweep it in front of you, sweep it back, and then back up towards your head, down towards the ground, back towards the wall behind you, up towards your head. Really working on that hip, nice and slow, so you don't lose your balance on your hip. Staying really nice and balanced on that hip joint. So we're not rocking back and forward. Our core muscles are turned on to keep us in place. For three, two, one. Other direction. Sweep it back down up towards your face and back down behind you. Keep going. Keep moving. Feel that burn. For five and four, three, two, one, take that top leg, bend it, and cross that foot over the top of the bottom leg. You can hold on to that foot with your top arm. We're just gonna lift the bottom leg off the mat and draw little circles on the wall behind you with the bottom foot. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, other direction. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take your right hand and your two fingers. Hook those fingers around your right big toe and just extend that leg straight, bend it in. Extend and bend. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one here, hold. Breathe, breathe into that stretch. Just lengthening out the strength we're building here. Building long, lean, beautiful lines. Bend that leg in. Let's bend both of the legs. Come on up. Bend so the left leg is bent and then the right leg is bent behind it. So you're kind of sitting here like a beautiful mermaid. We're just gonna take those arms, float them up overhead, take the left arm to the left, circle the right arm down so the fingertips are pointing in the opposite direction. We're gonna stretch over to the right, and then we're gonna flip those arms and then stretch the other way, working on our obliques. So each time you come up through center, switching the direction of those arms. 
tilting that upper body in either direction to work on those obliques in our beautiful mermaid position. Stretching as far as your torso will allow you to go down towards the mat. For five. Four, three, two, one. Drop that left hand down to the mat. Stretch the right arm overhead and just stretch out through the side body. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good work. Okay, we're gonna flip over, back onto our forearms, tabletop position, knees are bent, bend down onto those forearms. We're gonna take the right leg, extend it out long behind you, and we're gonna start with those toe taps again on this side. So point those toes, lift, tap the floor behind you. Nice and tight through that core. Working on that glute, nice and slow and controlled. For five, squeezing at the top, four, take it nice and high, three, two, last one here. Bring that knee down, roll over onto your side, using your bottom arm as a pillow for your head. We're just gonna start with those bicycles on this side. So bend that knee in, point those toes forward, sweep the leg back, and then come on, bend that knee back in towards the chest, point those toes, extend that leg back behind you. You'll notice that you have more mobility on one side of your body than the other. For me, it's this side, so I can straighten that leg a lot higher here than I could on the other side. That's what life's all about. Through working through the unevenness, the journey, always trying to strive for balance, but it is not what we are born. Imperfect, perfectly imperfect. For five, four, and three, we're gonna go the other direction with those bicycles, two. Last one, let's go the other way. So bend that knee in, sweep that foot back behind you, up and around, and bending in towards the chest. Straighten it. Sweep it up in front of you and bend in. Good work. Really getting nice and loose through those hips. For five, four, three, two, last one. Let's get that leg lifted, extended long, and we're just gonna draw those little circles on the wall back behind us with those toes again. Going nice and slow. Forward direction, feeling that burn. For five, four, three, two, and one. Reverse that circle. It should be burning on this side now. Should really be feeling it. Isolating that. Working nice and hard. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do with those big circles now. So sweep that leg up to in front of you. Bring it up overhead, down through your midline and then sweep it back in front of you again. 
really feeling this in our hip flexors. Staying nice and balanced on that hip. Not rocking back and forth. Turn on those abs. For three. Exhale as you come down, two, last one, reverse that circle, come down in front of you, sweep that leg back, up through the midline. Big circles, drawing them on the ceiling with those toes. Staying nice and controlled with that breath. for our summer bods. For three, two, last one here. Take that top foot, cross it over and bend it in front of you. You can use your top arm to hold onto it. Lift the bottom leg off the mat, take those toes and point them and draw little circles on the wall behind you with those toes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Reverse. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop that leg down. Grab the toes of the bent leg with the two um, index finger and the middle finger of your left hand and just straighten out that leg and then bend it in towards your chest while keeping a hold of those toes. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Bend both knees, come sit on up. Let's bend the right leg in front of the left. So they're in a beautiful mermaid position again. Bring those arms up to the ceiling. Bring the left arm over towards the right, the right arm, or the right fingertips over towards the left. Let's drop that torso over to the right side. Switch the arms over to the left. Flowing like a mermaid, working on those obliques. Feeling a nice little burn each time we switch sides. A nice stretch and a contraction of those obliques. For five, four, three, two, last one. Come on to your butt. And then let's just get into a reverse tabletop. So feet are planted on the mat. Arms are underneath the shoulders. Hands are planted as well. We're gonna lift those hips off the mat, come into the reverse tabletop, and then bring those hips back through the arms. Tricep dip, bring those hips back up. Squeeze those glutes in our reverse tabletop. Come on back down, tricep dip. Squeeze and send those hips up. Your hips should be parallel to the ceiling as you send them up. Come on down, bend those triceps, lift, and then lift the hips. Bring those hips back down, bend those arms, lift those arms, and then send those hips up. So it's two movements 
in one exercise. First targeting the glutes, then the arms, the backs of the arms. Three, bend, two, last one here. Bend those arms, straighten, come back down. We're gonna roll all the way back onto our mats. Arms extend out long behind you. Just curl that spine up. And then reach for the bottoms of those feet, stretch those hamstrings. Exhale as you pull, exhale as you pull. And then roll back down. Arms extend long back behind you. Inhale brings you up. Roll that spine. Extend those arms out in front of you. Exhale, exhale. Roll it back down. We're gonna do two more of these. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, exhale as you pull. Roll it back down. Hold those bottoms of those feet this time and just stay in this nice hamstring stretch, allowing that to release, opening up through the backs of those legs, opening up through the lower back, just holding and breathing. Good work, you guys. We're gonna roll it back down. And then we're gonna bring the legs up to 45. Head and chest are still lifted off of the mat. We're gonna bring one knee in, keep the other straight, hold, breathe, switch. Inhale, hold, breathe, switch. Now we're gonna add on from here. So we're gonna have the left leg that's extended. We're gonna lower it down to the mat, lift it back up, switch. Lower down to the mat, lift back up, and switch. And when you're lowering down, you're not touching the mat with that leg. You're hovering it like one inch above the mat. Lower, lift, switch. Turn on those abs. Nice and slow. We're not rushing through this. We're right here in the moment. Moving nice and slow and controlled. Point those toes. Keep breathing. For four, three, two, last one. Extend those legs out long, arms go out long by your side. Head and chest are still lifted off the mat. Scissor those legs up and down, alternating sides. Point those toes, legs are nice and long. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug those knees in. We're gonna hold on here. One more exercise. Extend those legs back out to 45. Arms reach long behind you. And then bend everything in, curl it into a little ball. Extend out long, arms reach, legs reach. Curl it in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, last one, hold it here, hold and breathe. 
everything is lifted, legs are lifted, arms are lifted, shoulders are lifted, squeeze it in. For five, four, three, two, last one, hug those knees in, rock from side to side. Breathe here. Good work. You guys made it. So from here, we're gonna get into a nice stretch of the lower back. So extend those legs out nice and long. Arms are down by your sides. We're gonna bring our hands underneath our glutes and roll those hips up, catching the lower back as you straighten those legs up towards the ceiling. And then when you're ready, tip those legs back, pointed right behind you. And we're just gonna be here in our pike pose. I am tight on space, but if you can tap the toes behind your head, there we go. Go ahead and do so. And the arms are back down by your, what would be your sides. Arms are extended down. Just breathing here, breathing into the backs of the legs. Inhaling and exhaling, letting the blood flow. Reaching those legs back up. This time just holding in your shoulder stand. Breathe here, letting the legs, have the legs drain the blood, letting it all come to our heart. Breathing into your heart center here. Expressing our love and gratitude for ourselves and these beautiful bodies we live in. Rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae till the legs land on the ground in front of you. We're gonna roll on up. Bring those legs extended out in front of you. Cross the right leg over the left, left leg stays straight. We're just gonna come into a half shoelace. So the right leg is bent over the top of the left. Extend those arms up nice and tall. Reach forward over that left leg. If you can grab the foot, that's great. If not, grab underneath the calf. Just breathe here. Letting go, giving yourself grace for being here today. Breathing into that heart again, telling yourself how much you love yourself. You love this beautiful body, everything it does for you. Reach those arms up, uncross those legs. Let's cross the left leg over the top of the right. Inhale those arms straight up. Exhale over the right leg, grabbing onto the bottom of the foot, stretching out. Breathe. Now, I want you to think about one thing that you really love about yourself. Could be your smile, could be that you volunteer for charity, it could be your passion towards your career, it could be whatever it is, whatever you want it to be. Just sit here and breathe with that thought about what it is that you love about yourself. Inhale those arms up, uncross those legs, and come to a seated position. Bring the right arm up, bend the elbow, and reach that hand behind you. The left arm bends back behind you, but underneath, you're gonna try to grasp those hands, if you can, interlacing those fingers, and just stretching out the backs of those shoulders and triceps. Breathe here. 
bring in here. Three, two, one. Float those arms up. Switch the arms. Left arm bends up. Right arm bends down. Interlacing those fingers. Breathe. Tell yourself thank you for being here today. For getting a good workout in and moving your body. For creating space for yourself. For new creativity and ideas and love to flow through you. And walk away for the rest of the day with that feeling of self-appreciation release that you've cultivated today. Because you deserve it. I'll see you guys next time.